Hey, it's Farhan here. I know a lot of you punks are asking about veganism. Um, Lala just told me a lot of Facebook comments, a lot of uh, YouTube comments. So here is an introduction to veganism, uh, Farhan style. And I've been vegan now, it's been 14 weeks, 13 and a half weeks, so a little bit over three months. And I'm loving it. No cravings for meat, no cravings for eggs or, or, or dairy cheese, pizza, none of that. I actually have vegan pizza all the time. There's a place here called, uh, the place here, called Apocalypse Now, right by Christie Metro here in Toronto where I live. And it's fantastic, vegan donuts and vegan pies, and they have a Big Mac vegan pizza. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I've pretty much tried every vegan place in Toronto, except one, which I'll take a special person someday. Okay, so let's talk about veganism. And by the way, this is an introduction. I'm basically gonna be raw about this. I'm just gonna tell you everything I know, everything I've been thinking, why I did it, my motivation, my inspiration, blah, blah, blah. And then it's for you to decide if you wanna do it and ask me questions, because I'll probably fucking make 20 of these videos if you really want me to, about veganism. Now, first and foremost, I'm a Pakistani. Pakistani people aren't vegan. <laughs> we eat a lot of meat. Every single person in my family eats a lot of meat, except me. So when I go on family outings, family dinners, uh, weddings, and blah, 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 uh, I'm the only one not eating meat. And people are shocked because I'm a person who was eating meat like two times a day, right? So like 15 times a week, I would eat like, you know, four steaks and eight chicken breasts and two, three salmon st uh, fillets. And uh, not to men mention prosciutto and, uh, you know, other meat, like, shrimp like other animals i mean shrimp and uh, squid and like all this stuff right and and lamb and veal and a lot of meat I, I was eating a lot of meat and i was cooking it myself or i was going to restaurants and this pakistani dude became vegan why how how do i feel what are the differences in my life and how you should start on your journey to become a vegan if you want to okay first and foremost I want to talk about my mentors and I want to thank them first. Zach is my number one vegan mentor. Claudia is another one. Uh, she also motivated me and inspired me. It's all this subconscious stuff, right? Like you, you, you process stuff that, that's like happening in your mind and then eventually you make a decision, right? So a lot of our decision-making stuff that's about to come out, risk-taking, decision-making, a lot of it has to do with how are you putting yourself in a physical situation to actually allow this thing to trigger the actions you want for your life, right? So when I went to my Buddhism 10-day uh, meditation retreat in Quebec, Montebello, Quebec, that was my first vegan uh, experience, right? So it was vegetarian meals, and I decided on day one, I'm not gonna drink the, the milk or the, eat the yogurt or, or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna be vegan from this week, and that was beginning of July. Amazing, man, amazing, time flies. Um, now, the reason I'm thanking Zach and Claudia, first of all, Zach is the bad, most badass vegan I know in the world. Uh, go follow him, that's it, Zach uh, is his YouTube channel. He has some, uh, some fantastic videos on there. Tell him I sent you, <laughs> if you do subscribe and, and comment. Um, so, so I learned a lot from Zach. One thing I learned is do it slowly, right? So even though I've been fully vegan for about three and a half months, I started very slowly, right? So I would eat one vegan meal a week. I would go to very fancy vegan restaurants just to get my body into that positive, uh, you know, dopamine of, hey, being vegan is cool. I'm happy. I went with a lot of friends, a lot of, uh, we had some amazing outings, a, a lot of get togethers, vegan style, right? Uh, what, what did he call it? Not a potluck, but a, a mukbang, mukbang. Man, that was sick. So I learned a lot from Zach. From Claudia, I also learned. She always believed in me. She's like, Farhan, I know you're gonna become vegan. I know you can do it. A lot of inspiration from her. So I thank her as well. And of course, the Buddhism people, the Buddhism retreat people who disciplined me and allowed me, you know, uh, don't hurt animals, um, uh, be disciplined, minimize your life. That's the other thing, man. Minimize, right? Minimization. You know, you, you might follow guys like Ty or, or Grant or, um, uh, or others who, who are adding a lot of stuff to their life, right? Adding Lamborghinis, adding houses, bigger houses, adding girls, 
um, adding uh, um, uh, furniture, right? Things like that. I am not in that world, right? I'm not in part of that mindset. I'm not part of that protocol. And I never have been, right? My entire life, the way my parents taught me, the way my, my environment taught me is I don't really give a shit about material possessions. It's more like a Seneca mindset. If you don't know who Seneca is, a Roman philosopher, who was the richest man in the richest person in the Roman Empire at the time, he even almost became more powerful than the emperor. And then they ordered him to commit suicide, which he did. So uh, it's more of a Seneca type mindset, right? More of a Warren Buffett type mindset. So you, you, you enable yourself to become successful and, and have money, but then you don't have to spend that money on material possessions. You can spend that money on uh, experiences, right? Experiences that don't involve external tangible things, right? So you could take trips around the world. You can learn about cultures. You can get personal training sessions. You can have a personal dietitian. You can do all of these little things which are good for your health. Um, but in terms of showing off, doing things that are, you know, more like, uh, 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 you know, very like mundane, very uh, hedonistic, I don't like that. That's not who I am. So I like to minimize and becoming vegan allowed me to do that. I took out meat from my life. I took out eggs. I took out dairy. Um, and that's really helpful because now it's very minimal. What I eat are very specific things, very few things. And uh, I get everything I need in terms of macros and, and minerals and vitamins. I get everything I need. And you know me, man, I'm anal about this stuff. I get my blood tests done. Um, I, I know how I feel. I know how my sleep is. I know how my energy is during the day. I know I've also minimized all my social media. So I'm never on social media. I basically upload these videos on a folder and my team takes care of everything else. They filter uh, uh, information to me and then I again make videos and I respond and, and with words and blogs and whatever you guys want. So again, if you have more questions about veganism, post and I'm gonna make future videos or blog posts or audio or whatever, make bonus books whatever you guys need. Now, what the hell do I eat? Let's get into that next, right, seven minutes. So, um, you have to eat things that are complete in protein. That's important, right? So there's essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. Essential amino, oh man, I'm getting into diet and nutrition stuff, but that's okay, there are exceptions. Essential amino acids are those that are, they're essential, they're, they're sort of uh, fundamental, you can say. But the non-essential amino acids can be derived from the essential ones. So you need to get the essential ones from your food. Now, if you eat one specific type of food, let's say brown rice, and all you're eating is brown rice, or let's say sweet potato, and all you're eating is sweet potato, that is something I don't recommend. What I do is I eat multiple sources of protein together to make it that complete protein, sort of like meat is, right? Meat is a complete protein. Now. So what do I do? Sweet potatoes, brown rice, uh, black beans, pinto beans, lima beans, lentils, legumes. Uh, these are the, you know, quote unquote, slow carb, uh, slow carbs that I eat all the fucking time. Quinoa is another one. So I'm eating that. I'm cooking that myself. I'm cooking everything, everything organic as well. Uh, now vegetables. I eat a lot of vegetables, right? So kale, broccoli, uh, not so much asparagus and celery uh, anymore. Uh, spinach, I eat a lot of spinach, uh, arugula, um, and I eat fruits. I didn't eat, used to eat fruits back then, so I'm eating bananas and uh, grapefruit, blueberries. Um, I'm eating apricots, like, you know, figs. Um, and then in terms of fats, sunflower seeds. Um, I'm eating pumpkin seeds. I'm eating a lot of nuts, so macadamia, almonds, cashews. Um, what else? I'm eating uh, Brazil nuts. Um, yeah, so this is what I do and I eat, I, I, I eat kefir, right? So you know there's kefir, there's like fermented uh, milk, fermented yogurt. I eat kefir but it's coconut milk kefir. So it's co only coconut and they fermented it. Amazing. I eat tofu but what I eat is tempeh. Tempeh is fermented tofu. Now as you guys know whenever you ferment something you get good bacteria into your body. If you consume it, so I'm eating uh, tempeh, 
which is uh, fermented tofu and there is a lot of protein in there and it is actually a complete protein. So these are the types of foods that I eat. I drink a lot of water. Um, I am also, uh, I lost my bad breath. I used to have bad breath. Uh, and I think that's probably because I've changed my diet. I, I, my breath used to be horrible. I used to have like, take like 10 breath mints every day. These little essential oil things and I'd spend a lot of money on them. Now my breath is quite good and girls tell me that. So I know, that not, so I know it is. Always smell good guys. And, and girls, make sure you guys smell good. And girls, smell good. Um, besides that, oh, uh, I'm not bloated anymore. My bloating is gone, right? So like in, in the abs here, I, I remember um, when I used to eat meat, I was bloated, especially at night after eating food. Now I'm not bloated anymore. I still got my, my V, you know, my nice like V thing. Uh, you know, when I flex, six pack is major, major visible, looks fucking good. So, I mean, the body is good. The body feels good. I feel strong. I'm doing three hard ass workouts every day. I'm doing about three to four hours of dancing every day, salsa, bachata. Um, you know, spend about 20 hours a week dancing at the, the class here in Toronto. Um, and I'm spending a lot of time uh, doing strength training and Pilates. Um, it's tough, very, very tough. And I don't think I could have done it back in the day. And I think the reason is because a lot of my workouts now are based on movement, they're based on patterns, and I need to be light in order for me to do that. So one thing about being light is that I've lost now about, so I remember back in the day at strength camp, I was about 190. So I was eating a lot, I was eating a lot of meat, a lot of uh, uh, desserts, you know, we had the seven, you know, every seventh day was a massive cheat day, so I was doing that. Uh, I was about 190, 192-ish, sometimes 185, depending on when you weigh. And now I'm 168, so I'm very light, right? And before becoming vegan, I was about 180-ish, 180, maybe 178. So I've lost about 10 pounds in the last three, three and a half months, which is very healthy weight loss, right? You don't want to lose 10 pounds in one week. So it's very healthy, I feel good, I feel light, I feel very good in terms of movement, uh, my brain is good, my sleep is good, uh, everything is quite good. And, and I'm just very sharp, fucking sharp, right? I'm learning dancing, I'm like moving my body, doing this thing all the time, it's really good. Uh, people are impressed, I'm moving up in the salsa community quite fast and I'm very happy about that. So that's what I'll tell you, man. And, and for me, it's, it's also the, the, the sensitivity to animals, right? So I, I see a lot of animal activism in Toronto. Toronto is a big place for that. I go to a lot of vegan places, so we talk about animal cruelty. We talk about sustainability of the environment, you know, methane gas and, and all the farts and, and shit that cows do and, and how that's bad for the environment and just a lot of stuff like that, how, how cruel it is for us to, you know, kill animals the way we do. You know, I, I'm not an expert at that stuff and I'm no animal activist and, and I probably never will be. But I do have a heart for that. You know, I have a heart for that. You know, I, I, I'm always like petting dogs nowadays. I'm saying hello to, you know, dogs of strangers. Um, it's a great way to engage in conversation, by the way. You know, if you want to do networking, you, wanna, you want to uh, become someone's friend, pet their dog and become really good at it. I become very, very good at it. Dogs usually are licking my feet in like 10 seconds. But um, yeah, I just, just love animals now. You know, I'm, I, I love human beings, I love animals, I, I, I love kids. Um, you know, starting an early childhood education program in January here at George Brown, getting a diploma for that so I can teach kindergartners and preschool and nursery. Um, t you know, learning uh, about autism, volunteering at an autism clinic. So that's been really, really great. So yeah, you know, I'm just becoming sensitive to the world, sensitive to my own feelings, sensitive to my heart. Thank you, Luke, for pointing me in that direction. Just have a lot of, I just have a lot of amazing friends, a lot of amazing people around, including you. So thank you for your support. Thanks so much. And uh, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, biggest balls in the game, balls with a Z, make sure you do that right away. And uh, we're gonna have a 30 day challenge coming up, a lot of good posts, a lot of uh, things that I think about during the day that are close to my heart. I tell Lala and he posts it on that wall. So Biggest Balls in the Game is a great Facebook group to join. Post your comments on it, uh, post your questions. There's an amazing community, amazing forums. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. I, immense gratitude for asking me about veganism. I, I love talking about it. Any other questions, comments, 
uh, about it. Oh, and I take vitamin B12 liquid. That's the only supplement I take. That's it. Everything else gone, gone, gone from my life. No supplements. Minimal, minimal, minimal. Take out, take out, take out. Minimalistic. Okay? Clear your mind and be at peace and be fulfilled and be happy and be free. Okay? This is Farhan. See you soon.